Hello everybody and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I am the Application Specialist for Tecla PowerFab. Uh, in today's video we are going to talk about a schedule of values or SOB which is pretty much a list of every work item on a project along with each item's value or cost. Uh, usually this list represents the entire construction project and the entire contract price. Those are very needed right, especially to get paid in, in most of the projects and that's why project managers are very familiar with them. Uh, so in order to create a schedule of values in Tecla APM, you can go to the project in the project management module. Uh, let me open this example right here and go to the contract and invoicing section. In this example, I have already created a schedule of values, so that's why you see an original contract amount. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the concepts. Uh, I have five concepts right now. Let me create one more that I'm just noticed now that I'm missing. Uh, so let me just go ahead and put my drawings approval. That's a very common one as well. Uh, that will be part of my original contract. And the amount, I'll just go ahead and say this is good for 25 thousand um, dollars. This is very important for the rest of the concepts and this one as well. So do you have the option to link this to a task from your schedule, uh, your project schedule? Uh, so that in that way you will be able to invoice the percentage of the concept that you have already completed. And remember that in Tecla APM, you can get those numbers in real time. Uh, so in this case, I will put the drawings approval link to my drawing approve uh, concept from the Gantt chart and save this. And let me pull this in the right order. So I'll just go ahead and say that's uh, before even the material right there. So if I save this, uh, I'll go ahead and create one more also and we'll say this is for change orders for example some people create one item for each one of the change orders uh, so others prefer to, to have a general concept and they are putting all the change orders linked to that so I'll just put a general one in this case the type is not part of the original contract so I'm gonna switch that to change order and you can see how the amount is now grayed out uh, that's because we just don't know at this point how much uh, money we will, will be required for the contract in change orders, right? Uh, I, don't, I, I will not link that to, to, to anything, at least for now. So I'll save this. And now I think my schedule of values is complete. You can see the material is linked to the actual uh, task of material received in my Gantt chart. Uh, the fabrication building A, B, and C is uh, actually linked to the fabrication of each one of the sequences that I have in my Gantt chart that we'll, we'll take a look in a moment. And then I have the erection uh, linked to the overall field uh, status in my Gantt chart. All right, so I'll go ahead and save this and close this screen. Um, something extra here to, to have in mind is that if you go to the other tab, uh, you can actually specify things like the contract number, um, the standard or default percentage of retainage, which uh, some people like to, to do that from the very beginning. And also if you are also charging store materials, that's something that you can do from here. But have in mind that you can also modify this in a invoice by invoice basis. So I'll go ahead and save this and close this screen. And now we have the new value in my main screen. Okay, now, right now, if I go to the invoices screen and click on new, you will see that the percentage that, that you're suggesting is pretty much 0% for every of the tasks. And that's because I have not updated my schedule yet. So let me just go back and show you the project schedule or, or project Gantt chart for this project. And let me collapse this so it's easier to, to read. Uh, there you go. So everything is in zero, but as soon as you click update status, what this will do is go and find in the drawing log how, how many drawings been approved and then calculate the percentage that, that those drawings represent. It will go and find the material purchased, received, fabricated, uh, shipped to the job site or done in the erection job site. So I'll just go ahead and click update status and let this go and find that information for me in real time. Remember, this is immediately as people input 
in the system that they have done something, this will recognize that immediately. So uh, those percentages will be what it is right now. So it's done, it just takes a couple of seconds. Uh, you can see the percentage overall that it's been completed. Then I can expand, of course, and see, for example, in fabrication uh, by sequence, 98, 42, and 0. And then even I can expand and see by station if I would like to see that. But uh, Gantt chart is probably another tips and tricks video in the future uh, that will be needed. So this is done here. I'll just close my Gantt chart and go back to my uh, contract and invoicing screen and go to the invoices, click new, and this time uh, it's suggesting the actual percentage that, that is reading from the Gantt chart. You see the drawings approved 98%, uh, material as well, and I think the fabrication building A as well is 98% done. And then this is 42, then I think nothing has been done here and pretty much nothing erected. Right, so I based on those percentages I can just basically create my uh, AIA G702 and 703, which I think are the two most utilized formats in, in, in the steel fabrication industry. So I'll just go ahead and take the percentage that this is suggesting, apply all the cost to that. Then I'll go to the next one, the next one, and then save this. So if I save my invoice and then just go back to show you the reports real quick. I'll just go ahead with the 702 and 703 for now. And it should take just a second. And there is, so this is the schedule of values or the 703 report. You can see how it's uh, putting the amount of money for this period and then the, taking out the retainage percentage of each one of the items. Uh, of course, the, ne the next application will include the from previous application plus the new values, right? So this is uh, very helpful to keep control of how much you have invoice. And then the AIA G702 that also is very needed uh, to get the stamp in order to get paid. So uh, this can really help you to control. Hopefully uh, you are already doing this or you start doing this because I think it's very helpful and it can really make it easy for you to control how much you have invoice today. Again, thank you for watching and wait for new videos.